All right, I think this is just a friendly match right now between Ollie D and uh, Mitten. Well, that was a quick commentary. Dead way back. Uh, we currently have uh, Tim Barnes. I think this is just a friendly. Yes. Yeah. Uh, are you sure? I, it can't I think be. so. We, we can't be doing friendlies right now. It does make sense. Uh, anyways, uh, uh, apparently uh, Zelda's Doodleby has some invincibility on it. Uh, fun fact. Oh, no. This is bracket. Yeah. All right. So this is the yeah. rematch? Oh. No. No. Okay. Dark nut set up. All right. Sorry. That's just me being stupid. All right. So winner is going to face try. Yeah. Ooh. Spoopy. Now, can you reflect... I think you can reflect the dark nut, right? Yes, you absolutely can. We've, okay. I saw earlier. Uh, now, here's the real question. There was a pit player. I don't remember who it was, though. Does that mean Mr. Game & Watch's bucket can reflect it? Uh, I'd assume so, because yes. it's a physical projectile. Yeah. I, try, I can't remember who it was earlier who was playing pit. Uh, it was Luggy. Luggy, Luggy. yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, yeah, Luggy had reflected... Uh, had reflected yeah. Mitten's uh, Phantom yeah. several times. And actually, at one point, broke shield with it. <laughs> actually, it, that was that was uh, in that last game. <laughs> Luggy was taunting in neutral. Oh, and he, and he, he did down throw to taunt, the truest combo possible. But so Mitten hoping to put that behind him. So what are some of Zelda's weaknesses? Because uh, you don't see this character too often right now. Yeah, so... Honestly, there's a there's quite a few. Uh, Zelda uh, is just such, you need to be so precise with her to land her sweet spots. Forward air and back air sweet spots very hard to land. Uh, they're a li little bit easier to land in this game, thankfully. Okay, but, all right. Uh, on top on top of all that, she's uh, mobility. She's still a fairly slow character, one of the slower characters in the game. Uh, so yeah, uh, Ollie D down by a full stock, pretty much. Uh, he's gonna have to. Yeah, he has to make this back somehow. Yeah, he does. Um, Good up tilt uh, back air conversion. Uh, neutral B. Oh. oh what oh, time the, is it? The plane. Hey, do you know what time the uh, buses are done? Uh, Ooh, buses Sundays? shut down. Sundays, uh, pretty early. I think ten o'clock. Oh, damn. Seriously? Yeah. It's 10.05 now. <laughs> damn. Uh, I, I can double check with one of my other guys just in case. But All right. I, I think it's 10, unfortunately. All right. That forward smash, very strong. If not, I might need to get a ride home from someone. Okay. Where do you live? Uh, I live at the university. Trent? Yeah. Okay. All right. All so right. If, any, if anybody else lives there, then, you know, that's perfect. I might have a full car already. I will let you know, though. I think I, think I might be... One space free. But anyways, back to the game. Um, oh, okay. So you know what? Ollie D's doing a pretty good job making this back. Has to deal with the the scary dark nut. Does the dark nut hit all the way, like during the dash, or is I it think just during so. the swing? I th I think it's all the way, but I think the largest hitbox is near the end uh, at the swing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, gets that rapid jab. Can um. It appears that uh, looks like Zelda can make the Dark Nut swing early too. Yeah, you can, you can press B again uh, Im immediately oh, after, yeah. and uh, it just launches it right away. I think. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'll be right back. All right. All right. Cool. Wow. Okay, that's a problem then. <laughs> All right. What's good, everyone? Look, Man, if the buses theory. shut down that early, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Wait, I live on the other side of the city. I live at the university. You take a bus? Yeah, I, I don't drive. Uh, I don't know what you're gonna do. I'm not giving you a ride. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm here till Plano. So, uh, damn. What time do the buses end? This is set up. Okay, never mind. I'm playing. All right. This is like the fourth. 
person on commentary. I'm not playing for a while. All right. All right. So game two, Mitten and Ollie D. Is this what we're doing? We're holding the mic. I mean, we can hold it if you want. Yeah. All right. So, uh, how was game one? Give me a little. Game one little went info. to Mitten. Mm -hmm. um, Ollie D is actually switching characters, so I guess he just was not confident in that inkling that he was using, switching yeah. to Chrom. Oh wow, good. Air dodge reaction. The fact that it's the same hitbox throughout just hurts me. Yeah, it, it's so such a strong move, and oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so the big thing here will be Mitten can easily get the gimp on Chrom top B using the Phantom. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. That's that's obviously Chrom's up B. Definitely not not that great uh, in terms of recovering. So yeah, it's like Ice, but it doesn't have a hitbox on the way up. Yeah. And you're dead. Yeah, air. <laughs> The if amount of air dodge, air dodge lag. Maybe, he would have been fine. maybe, but just the directional air dodge just has so much lag. Yeah. You really can't do that off stage unless your character with good recovery, or you do it really high. But uh, you're not going to encounter Phantom really high. So it's super even right now. Yep, super even. Basically even percentages. And never mind. Never mind, yeah. Uh, he's off stage, like crap. Ooh, good F match. smash. What? That's the second one this match. One of them was a good F smash, the other one was Tim. I guess you can tell who I mean when I say Tim. Yeah. Tim is Mitten. Yeah, that is very strong against that. Even just the Phantom being near the ledge, it's like a, a permanent wind box. You can't go through it. Really? So, Prom will just like go up and go around him and fall through. It's that way with Ike, so I'm fairly certain it's, it's that way with Prom, of course. So. I want your opinion. Who's better, Prom or Ike? Leo makes it seem like Ike, but my intuition tells me it should be Chrom. No, I don't know. It's pretty close. Yeah, it's so close. I personally think Ike is better. I can see it. Uh, yeah, I can see it. Because if you're going to give Ike, you're probably going to give Chrom even harder. Yeah. Alright, you need to miss spacing that head back to the That was a good backer. Back eventually. Alright. 89% uh, lightning kick from Zelda might kill him. At 100, yeah, absolutely it would. Yeah, depends on where on the stage, maybe. I don't know how strong it is anymore. Uh, Alright, so nice little spacing around it and moves. Both shielding. Oh! I, I heard the lightning kick sound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it from the actual setup yeah. over there. That's funny. Oh, man. Alright, Mitten takes game advantage. two. So that's currently 2 0 for Mitten. This is the best. I have garbage hearing, yeah, so I wouldn't have fun. even been able to hear that. All I heard was the. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good move, sort of, maybe. I don't know if the sweet spot got smaller. Also, I I want to point out that they both jumped out of shield at the exact same time. Jumping almost, out of shield. Yeah, yeah, almost the exact same frame. So, Mit Mitten read that option. There was no way that was a reaction. Oh God. No. No. That's just, I'm gonna believe and pray. And worst case scenario, I just drift back. Going back to Yoshi's story, the battlefield it, one. Yoshi's battlefield. Yoshi's battlefield, Yoshi's battlefield, okay. Yoshi's battlefield and Yoshi's smash. That battlefield. sounds a lot more deadly. Yoshi's Ooh, yeah. yeah. That sounds like they have to like compete to be the one that comes out of the box in Mario. Yeah. <laughs> one Yoshi comes out. Two Yoshi Center, one leaves. Ooh, oh, oh, nice. Yeah, there's going to be a very large distinction between the people that know how to parry and punish and the people that just actively do it like this. Yeah. And they get confused and it's like, oh, that messed up my timing. I'd rather just shield it. Yeah. And as the, as the metagame develops, obviously people are going to get more effective at parrying. People will be able to uh, get that down more and be able to punish it more. Yeah, honestly, it's something you yeah. It's not what I thought it was. Like, it's right. You have to be dropping shield as it happens. Yeah. Ooh, nice recovery there. So, all he needs for sure is he's a kill percent. If he gets too close to that, Ooh, Or the up air. Yeah. 
Also, the phantom, uh, the slash hitbox is bigger than the charge, like the dashing towards you hitbox, right? Yeah, I think so. Up. Yeah, so, yeah, gigantic hitbox. So it covers, it seems like, half of Yoshi's story. So that's going to be a good thing. Fully charged, probably. And also, also, as we saw there, just getting hit, Zelda getting hit once uh, when the phantom is charging just completely destroys it. Yeah. Yeah. So she can pull it out early like that as a mix-up. Yes. And Good lightning kick. <laughs> oh, is this? Wow. Okay. Didn't even realize that was a thing. It is. Strong and ice. Very easy to get. Now I think he thought like he'd be able to air dodge up to the ledge in time. If you keep up being, you're probably just going to keep getting hit by neighbors. Likely, yeah, probably. Wow, okay. Uh, so Chrome's gonna need like a nice little back. Uh, yeah. He, he doesn't care where the ledge is, he'll keep coming. Yeah. Good up smash. You don't see that a lot from Chrome. They're mostly just like. Oh, the like, triple taunt! The triple taunt. Yeah. No, never mind. Oh, wow, he's still living, yeah. Uh, Fast faller. I don't know if it's larger. It's definitely larger than it was in, in uh, Melee. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Have you, have you seen the non uh, non no hazards version? You're down. The, the one with hazards? Uh, Randall is enormous in the game. Oh yeah, he was down a stock. He went for the suicide and he was down a stock. That was um. I'm not Randy. 